In this video, you'll be learning how to create a sharp inside corner on a raised panel door or MDF raised panel door using a V-bit. So the process of this is creating raised panel doors is using a series of profiled cutters to follow on a set rectangle. So we will do in go through the process of using a bit similar to this one right here and then a V bit which is not pictured here it's similar to what we have here but we need it to come to a complete point to be able to create that sharp inside corner. So we're going to start off in Cabinet Parts Pro and getting it set up and we will be using the extra part. To set this up for a raised panel door operation, we first need to go into settings. Then in the top left, we have our drop down box to select extra part. Then for the drawer types and the door types, we will enter in a DF1 that is a predefined set of rectangles that are going to be produced based on the outside diameter of a size that you have entered in based on what we've entered in under the door setup. So for here, the RP, we can see these are the offset profile from the outside dimensions of the rectangle we put in. There is another more detailed video on how to set this up. So once you have that updated, you will use the drop down box to select extra part, select the part name to be doors. You would enter in the length, the width, and the quantity of that door, then add it to the list. We'll only work with the one, then we'll add a few more in. So first, let's go ahead and calculate nest. Then we see we have the door and with offset rectangles. Those offset rectangles are what we've just seen in the door setup. We also have a series of layers or features that we need to set toolpaths for. So selecting the zero inside, this is the profile line that we want to have the sharp corners added to. So with that inside being selected, you will come down and select an angle for the V-bit. The tool diameter in this case does not matter because the offset for that V-bit is going to be based on the angle of the cutter and the depth that we've set to have that rectangle be in, in or on Cabinet Parts Pro. So for this example, this rectangle line is set to a minus point three inches. We will then move down to the edge. This is a object uh, around the outside to put a profiled edge on our door. You would specify the tooling offsets to be to the on the line to where the center of the cutter is going to follow exactly on that line. Then the raised panel bit is the center profile. Again, set to be cut on the line. Then the uh, PERM is the perimeter cut. We have that set to be a tool diameter of 3 8 cutting to the outside. And all of these are saved as a template. Before saving, I'll just go ahead and calculate so we can see what is going to happen here. The calculate button does not save the tool paths, but it does give us the operations for the calculation so we can see where the center of the cutter is going to follow. So we have this diagonal or dotted orange line that is representing the center of the cutter. And I click the little uh, toggle button here so we could rotate this around. And we could see that that line is moving from the total depth of cut up at an angle to the outside corner and that is what's going to give us that sharp inside corner using that v-bit. 
a couple things that you will need to ensure that does not happen. And again, it's all based on the angle of that bit. You do not want to go with an angle that is going to be larger or greater than the distance that the outside edge is from the inner rectangle for the raised panel. As we see, the center of that bit is following right along this area here. Then we have the raised panel bit that is following to center around the outside um, we have there. So again, that gives us the raised panel look with the sharp inside corners. Now that we know that we can duplicate that, we can just close the part nester and enter in more sizes and quantities for doors and continue entering in as many door sizes that uh, you will need for any particular job. Once those are all entered, calculate and nest. We now have the doors laid out. Now we will go through the process of saving the tools as, and I'm going to save this with the name of doors. And this is going to give us one G-code file for each nested sheet. I also have labels turned on and images uh, being saved. So we'll take a look and see both of those. So going into the folder that I had saved those to on the desktop, then the doors folder, we have our one G-code file. And we could see in the file that we are getting our rays V bit to create that sharp inside corner. Along with those files, we also got labels that are representing what that part is. And we also got a folder with the saved images to show what is on each sheet. So that is a quick way to make MDF raised panel doors with a square inside corner.